What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another uh, low effort video. Just making a quick one here because I I, uh, I got a project I'm working on for a friend. So yeah, today I don't know. I'm, I'm planning out a build for a friend of mine who we're, we're working on a uh, computer this week, and I kind of want to get some opinions from all of you and and hear what you guys think and what my friend should do and uh, kind of what what the general consensus will be on his uh, upgrade path and, and what he should be looking at. So to kind of give you an idea of where he's at currently, I'll, I'll go over some of the parts we have right now. To start with, uh, we're gonna be working in the Fractal Design Meshify C. Uh, we picked this bad boy up from Micro Center and what's cool about it is that it was open box. So it is, uh, it was pretty cheap. It was like 20 bucks off. Um, everything looks good on it. There wasn't any like noticeable flaws. The only weird part, uh, let me see if I can fucking take this. Only thing I don't like about this case sometimes, it's not a big deal, but is that in order to get the front panel off, you have to lay it on its back because otherwise the window just completely falls off. It's not a big deal. It's just kind of, eh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining more than I should be. It is what it is. All right, one-handed. Uh, oh shit, hold on boys. There we go. Okay, so uh, let me put this in there. There we go. So with this, uh, what was kind of weird is that it was missing standoffs. And I don't know if you can even see that, but there were standoffs just like completely missing uh, from the case. And from what I can tell, I don't know if anybody actually built in this thing. Cause that was weird thing number one, was missing standoffs. Weird thing number two, somebody took the rear uh, case fan off and then put it on as an, an intake. So they had, a configuration, which don't do this, this is not ideal, you shouldn't do this, where they had an intake fan on the front and an intake fan on the back, uh, just kind of creating like a vortex. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, it'll work, but it would not be an ideal airflow pattern, especially if you're using like a, you know, an air cooler or something. You want this thing to be able to get consistent air and get it out of the case rather than just like, kind of being circulated back and forth. So that was weird. Other than that though, everything looks good. So we're gonna be building in this. And then, this is what I love. Uh, he, I'm actually hooking my friend up with uh, some sweet parts that I actually had lying around. So we're gonna be going with this white uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. And it's nothing special. It's just 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz. I think it's CL16, nothing too crazy. Uh, but then with that, we're also doing a white uh, Asus X470 Prime Pro, which I've kind of like, hey, you know what, here, let me let me take this out of the box. All right, I gotta be careful because this is not really in there, but tell me that doesn't look kind of clean. White motherboard with white and black accents on it in a black and white case, right? That looks pretty nice. And then we'll put white RAM in there too. And then I gotta take this out of here real quick, one second. So then along with that white and black RAM, we're also gonna be using these uh, white and black extension cables, uh, which I think are gonna kind of help tie everything together. Now, this is where I kind of need uh, your opinions on this. So when we build this case, which I'm very excited for, cause it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look really clean. We need to know two things, one, what do you all think he should do as far as a processor goes? Because there's a couple options on the table right now. One is he could get a Ryzen 7 3700X from a friend for about 150 bucks, which is it's what I have. Uh, it's a great multitasking PC or CPU, uh, great for streaming, great for video editing. Like there's a lot of really good benefits to it. But alternatively, Micro Center did just happen to get a big shipment of Ryzen 5 5600X, and they're marked down right now to 299.99. Now that is no slouch of a CPU. It's a you know six core CPU, but that thing outperforms my Ryzen 7 in gaming on almost every title. So 
First question is, what do you think you should do for a CPU? Obviously it has to be Ryzen because that's uh, the motherboard we're working with. Um, and then second, what other accessories do you think would be cool in a white and black case like this? Uh, I'm curious kind of what everybody would recommend for their own systems. Uh, I, we're working on kind of a tight budget, so keep that in mind. I, I don't know exactly what his budget is yet. I know he's planning on probably using the stock cooler that comes with it for the time being, but I am curious what everybody thinks in terms of upgrades and, and things like that that we could do for this particular build. I really like minimalism at this point uh, for, for builds. I went kind of overkill with my own computer and I, I spent way too much money on aesthetics and you've kind of, if you've seen my other videos, you know I've talked about that before. So I'm very in the mindset of like, hey, let's just get this kid's PC built uh, to make it performance over everything first and then go from there. So I was thinking maybe like some additional case fans. Um, as far as RGB goes, I don't know how much, I don't know how much RGB you'd really be able to see through the front panel mesh there, because it's it's pretty dark. I mean, you'd obviously get some light on the inside there, but would it be worth it to have RGB fans, or do you think it'd be cooler to just have um, maybe just white LED? I know Corsair makes some white LED fans, so I don't know everybody, what do you think? What do you think we should put in there? Uh, also, what GPU do you think he should go for? He's a streamer. He uh, doesn't do a whole lot of video editing, but he is streaming and maybe wants to get into video editing. So I've given him my opinions on, on cards. Uh, but in the comments below, why don't you tell us what you think he should go for and let us know. I, I got nothing better to do today. So this is kind of my project and this might be a two parter. We'll see, uh, when we actually get the rest of his parts in, but yeah, just, uh, thought I'd update you and kind of where we're at today and what we're doing. So thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to tell us what you think. If you don't like this shit, well then you know what to do. So we'll see you next time, everybody. Uh, thanks again to my Patreon members. I, I got a couple new ones, so I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for the support on my last video too. So uh, I think that's, I think that's all I got to say. We'll see you later. Have a good day. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.